What we're going to work on today is taking the red out of someone's eyes. Uh, on this model, we had put some makeup on her face and in the process got some mud in her eyes. And what it did was make her eyes quite red. So what the plan is here is we're going to actually remove the red in the, sort of the quickest and easiest way I know how to with complete control. So what we've got is basically we have the layers palette opened and we want to use adjustment layers. So if you have the layers palette open, you come down to the bottom and you'll see this little yin yang sign right here. Uh, we want to click on that, which gives us the different layers and we want to grab the hue saturation layer. When we pull that up, we're going to actually, we want to remove red. So we're going to go to the red layer, click on that and then grab the saturation and crank that all the way down. What we're going to also do is crank the lightness up quite a bit. And I know this is going to, as far as the eye goes, this looks like it's sort of taken a little too far. But what we're going to be able to do is bring that back uh, pretty easily in a few seconds. So let's go ahead and close out of the, out of the layers palette. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, change this to black. So we're going to do a command or a control I, which is the inverse. So, so now what we've, do, what we've done is actually covered up the correction. So what we want to do is just bring that correction back in in the eye. So with a mask, all we need is the brush, which it selects automatically for you. And we want to switch it so we're painting in in white because white reveals and black conceals. So we're going to go ahead and switch this back to the white. So we're painting in white over the black. We can also do that by pushing the X, which toggles back and forth between the, the colors on your colors there. Uh, so we're going to basically come in and start painting in the white, which you'll see is removing all the red from the eye. It takes it basically to a black and white is what we're doing. Uh, the reason what makes the mask so nice is that if we screw up and take it a little too far where we've actually, you can see where, where we've made the correction and thought, you know, whoops, I went too far. You can hit the X, which toggles the, the colors back. So you're painting black on black and you can basically come in here and just paint that back in. So you haven't done anything destructive that you can't go back to really easily. And then basically we're going to come over and do the other eye also. So we toggled back to white and we're painting out the red again. And if we actually take that a little too far, sometimes when you get down here, you'll hit into the eyelid a little bit and we'll need to bring that back. So we're going to toggle back to the black again and then just kind of paint that back in. So now if we look at it, the eyes are really white. Uh, I feel that a lot of times photographers, photographers will correct the eyes a little too much so that the eyes are almost jumping a little too much out of the page. So what I like to do is actually bring that back a little bit so it looks a little more natural. There should be a little bit of color in the eye. Even though it's white, it's not a complete white. So we're going to still on the, the hue saturation layer. We're going to actually dial the opacity down just by dragging the slider. And we're going to basically what that's doing is adding a little bit of color back in the eyes. And especially on this one, you can see where there's a little bit of color, a little bit. You can still see the veins in the eye a little bit. You can take it down a little further or bring it back up. But with this, you have complete control. And then once you make the correction, back off a little bit and look at the whole image because when you're looking at just the eyes, it's really hard to compare it to anything. So what we've done here is back it off and that looks pretty good. So that's kind of where we're going to leave it for now and hopefully that will make sense to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to just write me a note and hopefully I'll be able to answer it for you. Thank you for your time.